What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing the Dalek mod review for Minecraft. Now I have done this before, but um, all I did was just show you uh, the mobs. And so what I've done is I've got a short collective of everything in the mod. So I've got some mobs, some items, TARDIS and gadgets, foods, blocks, weapons, decorations, armor sets and clothing. Uh, a little bit of everything. So uh, let's get into it. First of all, we have got uh, mobs. Uh, Dalek mod, basically, uh, for, for those who don't know, is a mod based on the universe of Doctor Who. Um, there's Dimensions, Sonics, mobs, whatever you want. It's my favourite mod. Anyway, so first up, we have the mobs. Uh, let me just organise my inventory. We have the mobs. <clears throat> Let me put the Dalek back. Put the Daleks all together. Um, so let me just easy time set day. Here we go. Now, first of all, we have a K9, um, which you can craft from parts, uh, which is really cool. Um, K9 has a hundred health. Super OP. Uh, you can tame him and he will fight for you. Also, apparently he's armoured because this is as strong as uh, diamond, I think. Just below diamond. There we go. So, that is canine. Uh, then we have the weeping angel. Super scary things. Uh, basically, a weeping angel is uh, a stone statue. Um... 150 health, which if you look away, I don't know if it will follow me because I'm in uh, creative uh, game mode. Ash. Oh, there we go. As you can see there, um, if you're in survival and you come across one of these weeping angels, then uh, basically, whilst you're not looking away, they will attack you. Um, and they can teleport you as well. They do have a chance of uh, teleporting you. Let me see if I can get a stronger sword, actually. It's a bit of a weak sword. Six damage. Um, uh, let me have a look. Eight. Well, that's the strongest I can see so far. 11 uh, Let's look Okay, well this is the strongest sword I can find Why is it moved? It should be moved Unless it was going after another mob Which is weird uh, Weeping angels, they will drop a Or have a chance of dropping a stone block uh, Which is really cool um, then we have the uh, gas mask for the empty child. Um, let me just spawn in the village because they have this really cool ability that if you spawn a villager, then they can convert them into a gas mask child, as you can see. Take a look at this. These were always uh, scared me as a kid, or especially the transformation. Um, the scariest thing about Doctor Who. One of the scariest uh, monsters. Even though it's not really a monster, it's just a nano gene. Go on. Over there. Get converted. The same thing happens with Cyberman. Uh, if a Cyberman kills a villager, then they get a Cyberman helmet on their head. Which is super, super cool. So if you see here, he's about to die. Uh, oh, well he has a chance of converting him into one of these, which will just repeat that same mantra um, over and over again, which is super cool, another cool mob. Then we have the, uh, so, and again these aren't uh, all the mobs, there are so many mobs, in fact let me just show you how many mobs there are, they've got their own separate tab. All of these Daleks and mobs. 
So I just picked the ones that are I think, the most popular and the most uh, reference. So here we have the sort of 2000 Cybermen, uh, which are my favourite ones. Uh, fun fact, if you wear steel... Let me just turn on the music real quick. Yeah. If you wear steel boots... Yep, steel boots... Um, you will sound like a Cyberman when you move. Which is really cool. But anyway, so this is the uh, 2000s uh, Cyberman. And they will drop steel ingots, uh, which you can craft a bunch of things with. Uh, which we'll get into later. And laser charge. Then we have... I'm going to take that off because that's going to get annoying. Then we have the classic uh, Earthshock Cyberman. Uh, there are more Cybermen. But I just picked the ones... The most popular. You will be destroyed. Exactly. And let me just turn down mob. Uh, no, my skin customization. Let me turn down. Uh, uh, here we go. Speak again, please. Oh well. His uh, his voice is now lowered. Um. But yes. Again. Sometimes they might drop a circuit board. A circuit, I think. What's it, what's it called? Circuit. Uh, an electronic circuit, um, which is used to craft uh, and all uh, all sorts of stuff, which is really cool. Moving on, we have the Auton. Uh, now, this model of Auton is from the 1970s story Earthshock, um, which is a, a, basically the Autons were mannequins that were controlled by a nesting consciousness, which is just alien from a planet. Uh, from a, a separate planet in another universe, this tentacloid sort of creature. And if you go into, if on some armor, uh, I'm gonna put Dalek Anium. Dalek Anium. There we go. Uh, okay. And if I go into game mode, ish. You'll make the cool sound effect. It always should do. Yeah. So they make the cool sound effect, and what does this do? Oh, I didn't know they did that. That's really cool. Anyway, so they will drop uh, chunks of plastic. Uh, again, that's just a really common crafting material, which is really cool. After that, we have the Clockwork Droid, which were featured in series or seasons two. Um, I think it was something to do with fireplace, something in the fireplace. But these are super cool. Clockwork Droid. Um, yeah, really cool mob. Now, if we go and delete these peasants, um, we go over here. I shall show you some more mobs. Uh, I'll show you some Daleks first. So we got the classic 1963 Dalek. Again, I just grabbed the Daleks that represented the most of their uh, era. So I got two from Russell T. Davis's era, who was the showrunner from 2005 up until 2010. And then we got some Stephen Moffat Ironside Daleks, which were just Daleks disguised as a World War II um, sort of machine. And then we got a 1963 Dalek. Uh, and up here we just have some special, um, unique mobs. So, Daleks have a faster uh, shooting rate than other mobs, like the Cybermen and Autons. They will shoot faster, um, if I may show you. Slash game mode S. Oh no, they're, no. Well, there you go. Three shots in one. Um... But they will exterminate you, and this Dalek has... Uh, I can't tell how much health that is, because I have the wrong mod. Um, but that's in 1963. This is what's called the 2005 Time War Dalek, but I've always associated this with just Russell T. Davis's Dalek. And you'll see it's got more health, uh, because... Um, because it's built to be more durable than... The previous Dalek, because it's a, a better model. This Dalek has 50 health and is terrified. 
And in this, you can also find Asylum Daleks. So if I just go um, Asylum, you'll find a bunch of different uh, Asylum Daleks. So I'm thinking, here we go. So we've got the Asylum Dalek, which will have a lot less health because they'll just be they they don't really damage you. Uh, they can't really damage you. Oh no, they can. Some of them still work. Uh, some of them can still damage you, uh, but most of them can't because they're broken. Uh, this is a brand new one, just for reference. Um, this is the Asylum one, which is super super cool. Now we have the Red Supreme Dalek, which was my uh, second, uh, one of my favourite uh, design of Dalek. Um, I think the whole red and gold really does go together. Um, and this Dalek has 70 damage and an increased fire, fire rate. Um, I don't know if you've heard before that. It has an increased fire rate. Um, so that's really cool. And here we have the Ironside Daleks. Um, actually, I might as well show you a Paradigm Dalek. Supreme, Supreme, Supreme. I'll show you a Paradigm Dalek of this era as well. So this is the same era as Ironside. Um, so the Ironside were basically just Time War Daleks, but sort of repainted to... There we go. To uh, fit in with their sort of uh, World War Two sort of era. Um, they're just the same, just again painted to look like... Uh, they're called Ironsides. Uh, but this is the 2010 Paradigm Supreme Dalek um, from the episode, well, I think it's season 5, episode 3. Um, but this is the old Paradigm, uh, and this is the new, which is really cool. And that has 60, that has 70. I have no idea why that has uh, more health, considering um, that this Paradigm, or this Dalek, was actually supposed to be in the show canonically stronger than any other Dalek before it. Anyway, back to our special mobs. Um, I've gone the completely wrong way. Slime smash never been invented. Right. So we have Time Lords who actually I I need a Dalek for this. Dalek. Am I spelt that right? Um I hope I've spelled that right. Dalek. What? I'll just search in 2005. There we go. Now, if you get a Dalek and a Time Lord, they will fight as they are natural enemies. And of course, because the Time Lord has less health, he will die. Wait a minute, can I get a. Yes, fun fact, if you kill a Time Lord, um, they will drop Zaton 7 crystals, uh, which can be found on different planets, and they are used for fueling TARDISes, and as well as uh, creating sonic screwdrivers. So, fun fact, if you kill a Time Lord, and this is what makes him special, if you kill him, they will generate And they're helpful with generating. But if you if you uh, hit them whilst they're regenerating, uh, they will die. Um, so then we have a Sontaran, or a modern Sontaran, which are my favourite design of Sontaran. Um, I don't know. I think the the blue and the sort of greyish blue really does go together. But um, that's really cool. Um, this could be a long video, um, as you can see. I mean, it's already 14, 15 minutes into the video, and. Uh, We've got all of this to go. But yeah. Here we have Davros, or the modern Davros, who's lost his arm. Uh, Davros is the creator of the Daleks. So he, so the Daleks were originally a um, humanoid species uh, who were in a war with uh, Khalids, which is actually ba Dalek backwards, um, which is really cool. Khalids and another, and Thralls, I think. Thals, Thals and Daleks, um, and the Thals became Renegades, and obviously Kalads became Daleks, but he's the creator of them, um, because obviously through the war they became, uh, there was a war on their planet Skaro, and um, 
it became highly radiated and so they needed uh, to move around. Uh, obviously, obviously as you can see he's got the armor effect so you won't feel the full force of the 11. Um, but he has 200 health uh, which is really cool. And there's another boss actually and there's a Dalek Emperor. Um, Emperor. Let's see if I can get him up. Emperor. How do you spell Emperor? Um, um, here we go. There's Dalek Emperor from the 2005. Um, and there's the TV. Alright, I'll show, I'll show you him. This will be our paradise. So he actually has 400 health and he will spawn in a squadron of Dalek to protect him. Uh, which is really cool, but you'll need to kill this little thing individually um, as it's classed as a passive mob, um, which is uh, weird. Uh, music. Friendly creatures. There you go. But he, he's classed as a, as a friendly mob because he doesn't attack the player, so you need to kill him separately. But uh, So this is the Supreme Dalek, and when you do kill him, um, the actual casing that he's in will stay there unless you destroy this block which it which should do kill them uh gun let me just there you go uh this is really cool let me just turn this down again uh weapons or player uh yeah, i'll just turn the master volume down there we go That's a quicker way of um, doing it. But once you've beaten him, you will get uh, an achievement. Oh, I think they put advanced loops now. I think it's something like that. Now you can just punch him. Um, and then you can break the block. And it will come up with another one. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so that was the mobs. Uh, up next we have yeah, it's been on peaceful. Up next we have items. Um, so here we have three super cool items. Uh, we have the moment, which will actually destroy every uh, everything in uh, in the chunk. So if I just do this, uh, oh wait, hold on, uh, I need to go mod options. Dalek mods, and it should be the moment. Um, you need to go into the settings, moment function. Done. Uh, mod options. Dalek. I don't think I did it. Client, moment function. Done, 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 and done. Then it should work. Um, I don't know why it's not working. That's strange, but um, I'll, f I'll figure that out and uh, I'll figure that out and uh, yeah, this is the key to time. This is a decoration, sort of a prop that you can just put in your TARDIS, but this is a classic reference. Uh, obviously, the key, the moment is from the 50th anniversary. Um, obviously, you've got it in the button design as well. Anyway, so it's just a decoration prop sort of thing you can put in your TARDIS. Uh, which is super cool and this is the untempered schism which was last seen in oh i need to enable the i need to enable something you need to en en enable a lot of things in this mod but it's still it's it's worth it this mod's amazing if you're a huge doctor who fan um moment function slight briefing that should be allowed tardis boundary what does that do Unlock all locked items. They have some locked items as well, which is cool. Uh, render uh, BOTI portal. Um, vortex. Yep. Debug. Yep. Dimension. Mob. Tardis. Uh, here we go. Uh, yes, yeah, so if you spawn this in, um, the block's here by the way, just so you don't break anything, it's right there, it's right in the centre. Um, when you spawn this in, uh, you won't be able to see it on this side, uh, which is a really cool effect. 
um, how they've done this, but you will see a vortex, a time vortex of any of the doctors. I think that one's uh, new actually. Um, they've stopped updating this, which is sad, but um, I don't know where that one's from. But I'm trying to see if I can find a modern one. That's Tom Baker's, I believe. Uh, Tom Baker's again. If I can just, uh, but that's got another cool thing to have in your TARDIS. Um, I think you can find this on Gallifrey, um, which is again another place you can go to. Oh, here we are. This is the one I'm used to the uh, David Tennant's and Christopher Eccleston's Vortex. But uh, there's some cool little props and references you can have in your TARDIS. Uh, here's some other things actually that are important. Uh, if you're at, like a playthrough, so the Dalek mod introduces these uh, materials. I can't remember what you call them. Ores, uh, metalert, uh, Dalekanium, which can be found on Skyro, steel, which can be found from Cybermen, and Losodalite. I don't know how to pronounce that. You can find that Dalekanium on Skyro. Steel uh, with Cybermen and I think in caves as well. A Metalert, I can't remember where you find Metalert, but um, you can use it to craft a Metalert pickaxe, a brass pickaxe, that's wrong. Dalekanium. Oh, they don't do a Dalekanium one, but uh, a steel pickaxe and a underside pickaxe. Sorry, I, uh, I thought, well, it was coloured uh, yellow, so it must have been the same. Um, but yeah, you can use them to craft various things such as that. And uh, here are some other things. So this is more for decoration as well. You can pop this, uh, I think you can pop this down. No, you just hold it. So this is the wire. And the wire comes in uh, three more forms, actually. It has four forms, but it comes in uh, three more forms. It'll have a TV set, uh, a few TV sets. Um, and the wire is from the second season of Doctor Who with uh, Rose Tyler. Another great episode. David Tennant was amazing in each of them. What would have been great detail is if they had the little red spark coming out the back, which I did in the episode. Um, but yeah, so this is the wire and then the portable uh, wire, which is a really good thing. I guess this is if you want to uh, build it how the uh, shop had it in the show, where you've got... Um, all the various TVs on a wall, and you can see all the victims, I suppose. It's sort of like a prop sort of thing. Um, Dark Mod does have a server, by the way. Um, it does have a server. It's sort of like a survival thing. You know, you can build your own TARDIS. It's 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 brilliant. Um, second thing we need to talk about is the radiation pill. Um, does it stack? No, it doesn't. The radiation pill. Um, you can find this on in chests in different planets. Like if you go to the moon, you can travel to the moon. If you go to the moon, um, sometimes you might find the odd ship, like a Jadoon ship or a Dalek ship. No, you'll find Dalek ships on Skara or a Cyberman ship. So that's a, like a little settlement, and you can go in the chests and you'll find a radiation pill. That's uh, really good for Skaro, I think Gallifrey and other planets. Um, so you eat it, you can get anti-radiation, and radiation is, when you're on a different planet, on certain planets you will take uh, radiation damage, hence the radiation pill. Uh, White Point Star is just another reference to the show, it's not really used for anything I don't think, um, other than crafting something, I think it's used for crafting something. Um, but anyway, they're found on Gallifrey, as seen in The End of Time, Part 1 and 2. That's it for the items. Um, Clockwork droids drop that, by the way. Um, let's go to the TARDIS and gadgets. So, this is going to be a bit of a long one. Um, let's start with the TARDISes first. Um, I've also brought a couple of custom TARDISes that they made. So, they do TARDISes from the shows, but they also uh, do community TARDISes. So, here we have Dalek Mod TARDIS A, B, D. I don't know what's lagging. No. C. Why is it lagging so much? Anyway. Uh, yeah. I don't know why that's... Over here, please. Anyway, 
these are meant to signify uh, different TARDISes. Um, these are just the original four that they had. Um, this mod's been going around for about 10 years now. And the TARDIS key, which is really cool, you have a choice of uh, two key designs. You've got a Yale key, um, which if you shift and right click, you will bound the key to the TARDIS. And then you can use that key to summon the TARDIS. Um, or again, if you bound it, you can just left click it without shifting. If you shift left click, uh, your TARDIS should just come to you. But you can lock it like that, which is uh, super, super cool. So now we'll summon it there. So that's what our keys do. And uh, let's take a look inside at these TARDISes. So this is A, and goes from A to, yeah, A to B. So if we just go inside, you can pick the interior, um, and there's absolutely uh, loads, but we're going to be picking the uh, interiors that are um, these TARDIS's interiors, so I can show you. Some of them are sort of uh, similar. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's get let's get into it. So each one represents a time in the TARDIS. So this uh, just give it a minute, it'll load. It's a it's a different dimension seen in Doctor Who. It might lag for a minute, but uh, give it a couple of seconds. Okay. For a moment, I thought it like, teleported me somewhere. This is uh, the Dalek mod A. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry, A TARDIS. Uh, this, that's just because they're not loading in. They're there, the blocks are there. No, they're not. That's strange. I don't know why that's not loaded in properly, but that's not loaded in properly. Anyway, so this represents Matt Smith's second TARDIS I hope I'm still in the same place um, so that's Matt Smith's second TARDIS or Peter Capaldi's TARDIS um, yeah there's not really much there's room down here I think but that's just so you can sort of build your own rooms they do update it in the future to where there are rooms down here so let's let's have a look and uh, have a look at that where's the door ah <laughs> I got lost I've not been in this TARDIS room oh, wow. oh dear I think we went to a random Oh, thank God for that. Okay, let's break this as to not break the game. This is Dalek Mod B, which I think is, yep, just an updated version of that very same TARDIS. Uh, if you'd just like to give it a second to load in. Hopefully it won't be as broken as the uh, other TARDIS is. Uh, tell me that's just loading in, surely. Okay, oh my god. Right, so this, there we go, that's loaded them properly. So this is the updated version. Um, and I first, I was introduced to this mod to Minecraft by uh, Mr. Gibbs. It was a really uh, good, popular YouTuber. Um, he did a sort of survival sort of thing. He used this very target. This is my favourite. So if you go down here. This one is probably one of the biggest, earliest ones. If you go down here, and what's really funny actually is that in his playthrough, this, uh, this because this is supposed to be like a secondary interior, this, uh, this, this door wasn't really here, so it was just, it was literally just uh, this, and it was an ongoing joke that this was just sort of a thing in a void where he threw his manual, which is a Matt Smith joke, I think. Yes, a reference to uh, Matt Smith's Doctor. But this is really cool, and if you go down here, you'll see the heart of the TARDIS, which 
just got a powered thing, which is only updated in recent years because of uh, that was recently added, only recently. TARDIS, the TARDIS didn't used to have fuel in survival mode. If you're in creative, if you spawn it in creative, it has a limited fuel, but um, yeah, you need fuel power to TARDIS, but I'll, uh, I think I'll get into that later. Um, okay, so if we go down here, I think this is the kitchen, I don't know, I've not been in this for a while. Yes, this is the kitchen, um, but uh, this mod is really great if you're in a village, it mixes really great with Minecraft Comes Alive mods, sort of thing. Which is really really cool, um, and it really is a big mod. In fact, it's mine. It's it's the one of the biggest mods in Minecraft actually. Um, so if we go up here, I think this is the library. Yes, this is the library um, with obviously a pool in it. What library isn't complete, but that's a pool. Um, and again, this is all just for show. This is all just uh, books. But really cool. Super cool. Um, and there's one more place, if I can remember, yes, here it is, uh, so this is the bedroom, which is really cool, um, it's got storage chests, uh, you can just make a bed out of that if you want to, it's chests, all the stuff you need, it even comes with a free computer, which is super, super cool, although, if they wanted to be... Uh, realistic it could have had a mouse a mouse and had a sort of grey thing no oh well could have had that little sideways mouse or something anyway so that was Dalek mod B Let's uh, get out of here. That's cool. So that was Dalek Mod B. This is Dalek Mod C, which I think is... Yes, this is based off the 2005 interior, uh, which is super cool. And actually, Coral Tardis, as everyone calls it, uh, is actually one of my favourite Tardis. Um, and no, I think it's mostly due to the nostalgia aspect, because, you know, watching Doctor Who growing up, this was my first TARDIS, seeing Christopher Eccleston and David Tennant fly around in here, it's uh, amazing. Anyway, up here we have the wardrobe, here are a few corridors, you have a few corridors um, which you can build upon, uh, obviously down there's the TARDIS, up here is supposed to be, <coughs> oh dear, bless me. Oh, I thought this was the wardrobe. No, this is just the library. There's some little storage space. Which is still pretty cool. I think one of these has a library, but this is the, obviously, as you can see uh, here, this was an old Coral Roundel. Um, I think it's nice that they uh, kept the old classic ones and brought in the new, and kept in the new. Uh, just for reference, these are the new ones. So, uh, I do think the new ones are definitely a lot better than the old ones, but I think a classic aspect is always, a nostalgia aspect is always loved, you know. I, I always love coming home from uh, from school and uh, seeing if I could download mods on uh, my little iPad or whatever you call it, your little tablet. Anyway, that was a short, a small one, uh, only because it's a little bit hardest, but that's fine. Time set day. Uh, this is the uh, that's weird. This is the classic TARDIS. Was supposed to be based off the classic TARDIS. Each one of these is based off a design. Um, I don't know why they didn't put Matt Smith. I'm just trying to see if I can find a Matt Smith TARDIS. Um, I can't remember if they had an old one or a new one, so I'll just I'll just throw in. Uh, as you can see, they've got loads of Tardises. I'll just throw in Matt Smith's uh, Tardis next to this one. 
Uh, but this is the old classic TARDIS. Uh, it won't take too long to load as it's quite small. Uh, it's a big room. It's quite empty, you know, it's... See? Quite empty. Um, I won't need those. Um, it's literally just this. And this is actually great for customization. Um, say you wanted to build upon this TARDIS and make off like little separate rooms, which you can do, um, is amazing. Also, <coughs> another feature. Um, I don't know why it's like that. It's glitched or something. But another feature is, we'll spawn two, but um, if you go here, you can put in blank and search for an interior. And I'll show you that actually in a minute. In fact, I'll show you that now. And um, I'll show you that now, the blank interior, basically built off nothing. They give you a couple of blocks to stand on, basic stuff, and you can just uh, build off it. So if you wanted a pink, that's not going to work. If you wanted a pink wall TARDIS, you know, you could, you could do that, you know. Uh, if you wanted a, a pink TARDIS, you could have a, a pink TARDIS, which is super cool. No, no, I want pink tires. No, but uh, it just it just shows you the custom customizability uh, in this. You know, if you wanted a Doctor Who game that's sort of like an RPG, I think you would have to go with Minecraft Dark Mod. Um, you know, sort of set up a village or you know get up a village or get some, expand the village and upgrade upon it, and then get the Dalek Mod for that. Get some more mobs, maybe some more dimensions like the Twilight Mod, and you've got yourself a really good. Uh, Doctor Who style sort of RPG, which is really cool. So here's uh, Matt's first TARDIS, which I will show you because, uh, again, it's uh, lots of people know Matt Smith as well. I thought well, I don't want to leave him out. This is the updated new one, though. I think I think they've restated this, but I can't remember if they kept the old one. But I don't want to spend like 20 because this this video is already th over 30 minutes long. Um, and I don't even know how to edit. I don't know why it's not loaded properly. It's so weird. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know. It's weird. Um, this is just a big corridor. Big TARDIS. Um, as you can see, you got the thing. But really cool. Uh, really cool TARDIS. I probably should have done this in a few videos, but oh well. Um, so, next up, we have some custom TARDISes, we have Gallifrey and Wardrobe, um, we have, I don't even know what the hell this is, I have a test, I have a theory, yes, okay, and we have the synced police box, there we go, so I think each one of these has a custom TARDIS, but uh, this is the Wardrobe TARDIS, which is my favourite interior, or one of my favourite interiors. Um, this just defaults to the Toyota TARDIS, um, which is just, I don't know, uh, and this just defaults to the classic TARDIS. So not all of them have, but most of them do have a custom interior for the custom uh, things. Let's have a look at Gallifrey and Wardrobe. Again, it offers a lot for custom customizing don't like the blocks in here, you can just get the tires round all blocks that you want. Say if you didn't like these, um, you can go into the search bar, search up round all. Round. Say you want it black. Instead of, of, of this. Um, say you want it black. Around or so, you know, you want, you want to go a bit darker, you know, you look a bit goth, or maybe you just like the design of these. You know, it really is uh, incredible for customization. And the best part is if you press P on your keyboard whilst having this um, mod, you press P, then you can go through different skins that you can wear, like Zygon. Or you can be. Any Cyberman, you know, the uh, Cybermasters, which are really cool design. Um, but yeah, again, another cool detail. If you wanted to 
roleplay or something. I don't know. But yeah, again, a lot. Of... <coughs> I don't know what's lagging. Roundel. There we go. A lot of customizability. And again, this is the TARDIS. Uh, they've got loads of sort of decoration ones that are just there just for decoration's sake. But uh, again, yeah, really cool, really cool TARDIS. Lots of different TARDIS blocks, just TARDIS as well. They, the uh, SWD team, I think is what their YouTube is called, uh, has done a really great job. So, um, TARDIS and gadgets. We're not done here yet because we still have a bunch of stuff we can look at. So they included Sonic. Um, I got two from uh, the classic era. One, no, one from the modern. Uh, one from the classic and one custom. So this is the fourth Doctor Sonic. As you can see, there I have the classic Sonics thing. Um, I think there's a key where you can extend it, but I can't remember which one it is. But this is the tenth Doctor Sonic. Personally, my favourite. Um, and this is just again a, a custom Sonic screwdriver, which is actually my favourite design. I think it goes really well together. Uh, this is River Song's diary. Uh, which you can, uh, you know, it's it's good for regenerating. I don't quite know how it works uh, yet, but you can use this to regenerate. In the old mods, if you just right-click it, you would cycle through all the doctors, uh, which is really cool. But here, the handles is another decoration sort of thing. Um, there we go. Another sort of decoration thing. Uh, it's just handles, you know. Uh, you can place them down, pop them up, anywhere really. Uh, next up, we have the Sonic Blaster, which just destroys blocks, and they come back after a while. Uh, I don't know why that's affected though. It's real weird. Um, but it can destroy anything, but it just comes back after a while, which is super cool. And then we have the Two Disc, which is really cool. If we get a villager. Uh, no, that's not it. And we keep right clicking him. He will go thinner and thinner until he can't go thinner anymore. Now he's 2D. 2D. Hence 2D disc. 2D disc? I don't know. This is a Zygon detector. Um, so if you get a Zygon, sometimes they have a chance of spawning to look like a villager, just green. I bet it's unpeaceful, so I wouldn't want it. Like here. It should ding. Usually it dings. I don't know why it didn't ding. That's quite strange, actually. But, um, yeah. We can kill him. We don't really need him. He's a farmer. We don't like farmers. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, those were the gadgets and items. Super, 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 super cool. Uh, up next... I did forget to mention that actually, um, the gas masks can change signs, um, <laughs> uh, this would be foods, um, so they have a multitude of foods um, that are references and stuff, so we have the adipose pill which I think just spawns an adipose, if you eat it, game. Yes, so if you eat it, uh, an adipose will spawn, which are harmless little creatures. Another little mo mob, but harmless, harmless uh, little creatures, really. Two will spawn, I think. Or they'll just keep spawning, I don't know. Um, then we have fish fingers and custard, which are Eleven's favourite food. We have a Dalek cookie, which is a reference to the fact that in one of the Christmas updates, I think they added this, took it out and uh, re-added it. And then we've got an obvious reference, which are a bag of Jelly Babies. Tom Baker's favourite food. And then we have the Croc food, which is a reference to Season 1, Episode 6. A long game in which there was a Cronk bar, whatever you call it. Cronk burger, Cronk dog with mustard, Cronk shake and uh, fries. Which uh, is just another source of food, really. Um, I think you just find it, I think. Or you can craft it. I don't know. 
but they're super cool. Uh, here we have just uh, blocks from different planets. I didn't quite know what to do for the blocks, so I just put three of uh, different planets. So here we have Mars Rock, which you can find on Mars, obviously. Sand from a dungeon. And uh, sand. Normal, regular sand. Uh, obviously, these are two different colours, but they still act as sand. Um, again, super cool blocks. Sort of another cool thing for design. If you're if you're making like a sort of house and you know you can't find any brick or you can't you find it hard to get brick, you can go to Mars, mine some of this, and uh, there you go, you've got a painted house. Now next up we have some scar of sand. Uh, we have some scar of stone, which uh, actually is very similar to. Oh dear. Mars Rock, and then we have an ancient Dalekanium tile, which I thought would just uh, look cool. These are found in asylums, I think, which you can find uh, on Scaro. If you're mining, you'll find obsidian. If you mine that obsidian, you'll find a Dalek asylum, which is a super cool reference. Uh, here we have some, uh, oh yes, uh, stone as well, which I think you saw. Um, here we have some Gallifreyan dirt, which is just like normal dirt, but slightly, slightly different. Uh, then we have Gallifreyan stone, which actually doesn't differ very much. It's just a more refined, sort of fine, sort of stone, more sort of of a, of a small, smooth stone. And then we've got obviously Gallifreyan sand. Which is just red, um, due to the twin suns, I think, yes. Uh, Gallifrey is mentioned to have uh, twin suns. Which is super duper duper cool. I don't really want them, there you go. Um, so, oh yes, uh, and then we have, if we just take them back out again. Yeah, uh, random assortment of blocks. We've got moon rock. Uh, moon rock is just, you just get a bunch of different moonstone and moon rock. It comes in different shades, uh, textures, but it's ultimately, it's, uh, it's, it's the same, which is super cool. And then you've got ore from different planets. You can find diamond ore, uh, iron ore from different planets as you're going along. I just thought it was cool. That I could show you. This is from Trenzalore, um, which is black only because it's burnt from the wall. Uh, and this is from Vortis. Uh, and this is just a blue clockwork, uh, clockwork block, uh, which is just cool for, again, building a TARDIS really. Uh, yeah. So this is. Um, okay. So these are weapons. I think you guys will like this. These are. Uh, weapons you can find um, and I'll go through the ammo that you need water gun that doesn't really need uh, ammo and neither does uh, a steel mace really but that just does 8 damage it comes with not backed as well when crafted um, so these are only some of the weapons you can find a Dalek gun stick which does the most damage uh, and the ammo type it uses is Dalek laser charge, which can be found killing a Dalek. We have water pistol, which the Doctor used uh, in season four. We have a Time Lord Staser, which uses laser charges, which can be found, which can be found by killing certain mobs that use like sort of laser guns and stuff. Then we have the family of blood gun. Which is just that, um, just a cool looking gun by the way, um, just the gun that they use, yeah, laser chargers, um, then we have a unit RPG, which will shoot rocket, uh, which is really cool, and that uses explosive bullets, oh, whoa, I didn't know how strong that is, I didn't even know how strong that is, that's cool, anyway, then we have a Jadoon blaster, just uh, another gun, uh, and then I don't know why they had this, but they had a Rosalie's wand, which is 
weird. I don't even know why they added that. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> those were the uh, weapons. Uh, next up, we have decorations. So if we just take all of this, there we go. Uh, these can be put anywhere really, in your TARDIS, on the street you're decorating, anywhere. So we've got the lamp posts, uh, which I don't know why they're so tall. And then we've got Toyota hat stand, or what they are, hat stand, yeah. Uh, which is more sort of detailed. Uh, hollow panel, which could be put on your TARDIS. Uh, a monitor, which is on. There is an off version, but I just picked the most interesting one. Um, then you've got a metal alert display. I don't know why. It's just. Then you've got a Zayton display, which is TARDIS. A steel display, which is Cybermen. Um, you've got a lamp post, which can just be used for sort of cities and that. Uh, and then you've got the hologram, which can be changed but I can't remember how it's done by a command but uh, this is Matt Smith's doctor I think yes little bow tie and uh, yeah so that's super cool put that in your ties um, and then decorations you've are here and obviously you guys have seen the wire um, we have the off monitor and we have the forest in the box, which is from the season six Christmas special, uh, which you can't open. You should be able to open and go into the little forest dimension, but uh, you can't anymore, which is a shame. Um, so if we go over here, you have all of the Doctor statues. They do have the Doctor from the Doctor Who movie, um, but uh, yeah, so first, Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, war. Let's just get rid of these. There we go. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Who is a lot shorter than the others? I don't know why. The first doctor, second, third. 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, War, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th and 13th, which again, I don't know why she's so short, maybe they were just trying to make them so that it was uh, at the player's height, I don't know, but super cool statues, and the level of detail again is amazing, but you can just put them, I don't know, in your TARDIS as a sort of decoration if you want to, I don't know where you'd use them, but uh, yeah, so here we have armour sets, uh, you've already seen the Dalekanium, um, and each armor set comes with their own steel sword and steel, not steel sword, their own sword and battle axe. Uh, metal alert only comes with a battle axe, so. but metal alert um, gives you radiation resistance when you have a full, uh, full um, set of armor. Uh, steel uh, is as strong as Dalekanium. Uh, but not as resistant to dark blasts, uh, which is weird. But uh, yeah, so that's super cool. Obviously, I don't know why, but they've included the logo with this. The Cybus Industries logo, which is cool. Um, time set day. Time set day. Yeah, there we go. So the Dalekanium Sword does 6 damage. The Battle Axe does 6 the steel sword to six and the battle axe to six and the metal alert battle axe to seven uh, because metal alert is stronger than steel. Uh, last but certainly not least, we have decoration clothes or just clothing as I like to call them. Um, so what is important is when you go to different planets, actually you will need a space suit. Um, you'll need oxygen tank, some oxygen tanks as well. Um, but when you wear this space suit, and there's a bunch of different space suits, but uh, once you wear this space suit, which is awfully stylish, you will be able to walk on the moon and stuff, which is really cool. This one is from season two, uh, which is super, super cool. Why is it so dark? 
Um, but yeah, there were other other stuff as well. So if we take this off, we have the third Doctor's jacket, which he actually stole. If you guys have seen the episode, he actually stole this, um, which is really funny. They did include a few things from story mode, Minecraft story mode. They got the virtual reality headset. Um, and they did the chip as well. Uh, Minecraft, oh, Minecraft story, mode, which is uh, weird. I can't seem to find it. I thought they uh, added it. They've got seasonal stuff as well, but uh, that doesn't that doesn't really matter. Oh, here we go. Um, obviously there are all the different suits. Uh, and the mind control chip from story mode as well, which is obviously from behind that's the third doctor's jacket and you got the rainbow coat from the sixth doctor uh, then we've got a mini U hat um, which will put your skin on your head and you've got a big head sort of thing um, which is funny uh, then you've got a unit hat which the brigadier wears you've got Missy's hat um, I think she has two variants, one that sits on the top, one that sits on the side. Um, you have a cyber frame hat, uh, so what Jackie had before she was converted. And you have different fezes, you've got a pink fez, got a black fez, got a normal fez. Fezes are cool. And they did a, a side fez as well, I don't know why, but uh, like a normal fez. And they've also got the scooter hat as well from uh, the wire episode, which is uh, cool. So now I will show you. I can't really do that, can I? Um, let me just empty this. Uh, Tardis. Uh, here you go. They've got a villain in the design, which I thought I'll show you. Um, super cool. Um, that's the villain of Tardis. It's just a plain. Um, what used to be the default TARDIS before they made all the custom ones. But if I just put blank, because I don't want it to... I want it to load as quick as possible. Uh, I'm going to show you the different planets and dimensions you can go to. Um, also, a fun thing is, if you download other mods that have different dimensions, like the Twilight dimension, and the Ace 2, then you can actually travel there by TARDIS. Um, so here we go. Uh, if you tar TARDIS monitor, you can set waypoints um, you have a chameleon circuit which you can change your exterior um, coordinate travel where you can set your dimensions we have the overworld the nether the end veros the moon scaro trenzalor and gallifrey minecraft classic of course and mars and vortus and mondas so you've got quite a few, quite a bit of a selection there um lost cities is just a different mod but um so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. Nine different dimensions, or nine added dimensions, which is super cool. Um, but again, uh, in Scaro, you can find Dalek Asylums. I'll just run through the quick stuff you can find. You can find Dalek ships in the sky, um, asylums, Trenzalore, you can find ships on the floor. Um, and just graves, uh, Gallifrey, you can find the Gallifrey in Citadel, Minecraft Classic is just Minecraft Classic, Mars, um, you'll just find miscellaneous ships, Vortus, uh, no actually, um, you might find some caves with some ice warriors as well, uh, which I'll actually show you right now, ice... Go. They actually took these out for a while. Um, I don't know why. But yeah, Ice Warriors. He's dead. Um, oh, no. uh, Mars, you'll find Ice Warriors. Um, no, yeah. Fortis. I don't know. You'll just find caves, I guess. Mondash, you can find if you dig underground uh, conversion chambers. And so, like, if you go underground, you'll find like, cities and stuff. Not cities, but sort of builds of um, cyber conversion units um yeah and there's there really is a lot to explore 
in this and I cannot say it all in uh, one video that's an hour long by the way um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, please subscribe uh, like I really did hope you enjoyed and um, yeah subscribe for more I'll see you guys in the next video